Welcome to the Mujawara Sketches YouTube channel, buddy. In today's video, we're delving into the captivating world of the Straw Hat Pirates, unraveling the intricate command hierarchy that defines this legendary crew. The Straw Hat Pirates, currently considered one of the four emperors, form a formidable pirate group. Fans know that this pirate group is important to the story because Luffy, the main character of the series, and all the other major characters are part of it. Even though everyone in this group is very strong, not everyone can be counted on in times of trouble. A very small number of people on this crew have shown they can lead others and have done so many times. The best members of the crew definitely share the Straw Hat Pirates leadership structure, which is hotly discussed among fans. Part 1, The Leader of the Crew, Luffy There is no doubt that Luffy, as head of the Straw Hat crew, is the most important person in the group. Luffy came up with the idea for the Straw Hat Pirates. He set out to become the Pirate King of the East Blue, and this sea is where he found most of his crew. Luffy made the Straw Hat Pirates and quickly became famous for the bad things he did. He was already a well-known beginner when he got to the Grand Line, and after beating Crocodile, he became even more well-known. There wasn't much time between when Luffy arrived at Sabaity and when he had to deal with the problems that came up after the two-year time skip. Since Luffy came back, he has grown up and become an amazing pirate, strong enough to fight the best warlords and even the Yonko. The fact that Luffy is one of the four emperors of the sea shows how strong he is. But just because someone is strong doesn't mean they're a good leader. That being said, Luffy is truly amazing when it comes to being a leader. Luffy is a very chill person who doesn't look much like the captain. He loves his crew for who they are and lets them be themselves. They are the only ones he trusts with his life because he knows them so well. The team also trusts him with their lives, which is what has earned him their respect. It goes without saying that Luffy is a great leader. Right now, he is one of the four emperors of the sea because of this great leadership skill of his. Part 2, The Second in Command, Zoro Fans should know that the Straw Hat crew does not actually have a leader after Luffy when it comes to who leads the crew. Like many other crews, the Straw Hat Pirates don't have a first mate. In fact, Oda has made sure that each member of the Straw Hat crew is very good at different things. Because of this, one team member could be in charge in some situations and someone else would be in charge in others. Also, a lot of people in the world of One Piece think Zoro is the second leader of the Straw Hat Pirates. Because of this, Zoro is most like a vice captain of the Straw Hat Pirates he would normally be in charge when Luffy wasn't around. The fact that Zoro has won. 11 billion berries shows how powerful he is. However, that's not all. Plus, Zoro is always there for you when you need him. When things get tough, he refuses to give up, and his huge strength can protect everyone who stands with him. Even though Zoro is smart, no one will ever be able to scare him. Zoro is a great leader because he knows how to get people to respect him and also how to face the biggest threats. He isn't afraid to go up against the biggest people and see how good he is. He is able to use skills like Conqueror's Hockey because of this trait. Furthermore, Zoro wants to be the best fighter in the world, and to get there, one must have strong leadership skills. Part 3, The Third in Command, Sanji Zoro is the second leader of the Straw Hat Pirates. Sanji, the cook, is the third leader. Oda has told Sanji more than once that he is in charge, even though many people think that someone else on the team, like Nami or Jinbi, is actually third in command. During the separation of Luffy and the Straw Hat Pirates in Dressrosa, Sanji assumed leadership of the new group. In fact, Oda gave the group its official name, the Torley Hat Pirates, which made it clear that Sanji was in charge. He came up with a plan to attack Big Mom and led the crew all the way to Zo, which was huge. During Beach's attack, he saved the Straw Hat Pirates' lives. It was clear that he was a leader, and he was also one on Whole Cake Island when Luffy was fighting Kakakuri. It was clear that his order was more important than Nami's and Jinbi's. Sanji is an excellent leader and doesn't need to improve in any way. One of the smartest people in One Piece is Sanji, and he knows how to deal with danger in a smart way. Some people might use their strength instead of their brain, but Sanji is both. Because of this, he is one of the best leaders the crew has to offer. He's also always willing to put his life at risk to protect those who support him. Sanji is without a doubt a great leader, and the Straw Hat Pirates can always count on him. There are other people in the group besides Sanji who would make great leaders. People like Nami and, of course, Jinbi would be in this group. Nami is one of the most important people in the Straw Hat group and is also very smart, especially when it comes to planning things. She would be a great choice to take Sanji's place. Jinbi, on the other hand, 
has a lot of different traits. He is smart, careful, and, most of all, calm. You can count on him because he is strong. The Straw Hat Pirates are generally very reliable and can take charge in any scenario. Because of this, Oda has never officially named a vice captain for the crew, everyone is a boss in their own way. Summary and Highlights As captain of the Straw Hat Pirates, Luffy is a strong leader who cares about his people and gains their respect. Zoro's reliability, strength, and ability to command respect even in dangerous situations make him the second in command. The author stated that Sanji is the third in command. He is a great leader, very smart, and ready to risk his life for the crew's safety. And there you have it a deep dive into the leadership dynamics of the Straw Hat Pirates. If you enjoyed this analysis, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you very much for visiting the Mujawara Sketches YouTube channel, buddy. We hope you enjoy our funny sketch videos and anime reviews. Don't forget to subscribe to continue joining us on our joyful journey in the world of anime. If you have any wishes, questions, or suggestions for our next videos, feel free to express your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you very much for your support, and until we meet again. See you next time, buddy. What is One Piece Anime? One Piece is a manga and anime story about a young boy named Monkey D. Luffy who wants to be the king of the pirates in the world. As a child, he eats a devil fruit, a strange plant that makes him able to stretch like rubber. Before the show starts, Luffy goes out into the world for the first time and starts to gather a group of pirates. The main group grows over time, but it starts with Luffy, Nami the Navigator, and a swordsman named Orono Azoro. At some point, Luffy and his friends are known as the Straw Hat Pirates, and they go on many exciting adventures across the ocean. One Piece is a lot of fun because it's silly. Luffy goes from island to island around the world in the series. Each island has its own setting and theme. It's a pretty fantastical world full of animals that look like people, live skeletons, and other delightfully strange things. Within moments the group is in a winter scene, and the next they are on a tropical island full of giants. The show is full of silly and bright details. For example, Zoro holds a sword in his mouth, a scary military boss wears a cute bulldog hat, and people don't use phones to talk to each other instead, they use special transponder snails that can send and receive messages. Luffy is a carefree person who just wants to eat a tasty meal and laugh at bad jokes. Even though there are some funny parts in the series, a lot of One Piece is about freedom. During his travels, Luffy often takes up guns to help his friends and encourages others to do the same against pirates and government-backed military occupations. The characters in Luffy and his crew get stronger with each fight, which is typical for shonen manga. A lot of the story is about how Luffy beats a problem that seemed impossible to solve and finds some kind of secret power. After each fight, Luffy and his team get stronger and move closer to his main goal, which is to find the One Piece. Why is it called One Piece? The first part of both the manga and the anime shows that Pirate King Gold D. Roger is telling the truth about the mythical wealth called the One Piece. One Piece is the name of the show because Luffy wants to find the One Piece and become the next Pirate King. One of Luffy's main goals in the show is mentioned in the show's title. What is the One Piece? The answer to this question is still one of the biggest secrets in the series. It's been more than 1000 episodes, and we still don't know what One Piece is. We know that the One Piece is the name of the treasure that Gold D. Roger collected on his travels because of details in the manga. We still don't know a lot about the treasure, though. There are a lot of ideas from fans about what the One Piece is, but we still don't know what it is or even if it's real. The One Piece could just be the friends Luffy makes along the way.